Hey YouTubers, I ordered a Nikon 800mm PF lens the first day they were available to order and I uh, filled out an NPS priority request as soon as the NPS portal opened. Um, I, uh, I know a lot of the folks got them sooner, a lot of influencers and what have you, but I'm just an average guy. So uh, it's taken a while, but it just arrived today. And I'll tell you, I'm very excited. I want to give you my first impressions. And I got to say, this is a big box. This is pretty uh, intimidating, but it's not as heavy as I would have expected it to be. Let's see what we got in here. This is a, an internal brace to go inside the bag. I guess for some reason it doesn't ship with that already installed. So we'll set that aside. And I knew it was going to come packed in its own backpack. So let's get that up. There we go. I'll put that aside. That's a big sucker, and it is heavy. I don't know how much of this weight is the lens and how much is the pack. A little bit of protective material there. Well, let's get a look at this bad boy. Wow, that is much, much lighter than it looks like it would be. I can't believe how light that is. Well, that's surprising. I would thought there would have been a lens cap on there. There's no threads here, so I guess they can't put a traditional lens cap on there, but I'm kind of surprised it ships without any protection on the front element. That thing is so light. All right. Let's see here. These I don't need anymore. Okay, I see what we got going on here. Here's our rigid lens hood. Go on the end of the lens. on there. There's not a knob on there like on some other Nikon lenses. Let's see here. There we go. Okay. Line up the solid dot. Turn it till it clicks. <laughs> that looks enormous. I mean, I cannot believe how light that is. It weighs a third or a fourth of what you'd think it does. I think that's going to come out very close in weight to the uh, 500 millimeter and 1.4 teleconverter and FTZ adapter that I've been using. Okay, so here's a soft hood that goes over, or I'm sorry, a cap that goes over the end to protect it. Wow. Okay, well I'm going to set this stuff aside and let's see something here. This is the 500 PF I've been using with a TC14 teleconverter and an FTZ adapter. Now, this comes out to 700 millimeter at F8. This is 800 millimeter at F63. So it's a good bit longer 
but it's not nearly as heavy as you might think. They feel very similar in weight. They really do. It doesn't feel like it's much heavier than this combo. And of course, there's a hundred millimeter more reach and two thirds of a stop more light transmission. So uh, I can't wait to try this out, but I'm gonna do something here real quick before I take this out and start shooting with it. I wanna put these things on a scale because I'm very curious. Now I do have an Arca adapter on here. So let me take that off. So the 500 millimeter with teleconverter and FTZ adapter weighs four pounds, 1.2 ounces. And just to be fair, take that lens cap off. The 800 millimeter weighs five pounds, 12 ounces. So that's about a pound and what 11 ounces heavier but it doesn't feel heavier which is weird i guess um you know i expect it to be so much heavier than it is given its size it feels lighter than it really is uh, so that's kind of a surprise they in the hand they feel very similar but the scale tells a different story so there is a weight penalty to pay for the 800 millimeter even though it's not as much as you might think. So I can't wait to get this on the camera and try it out, but um, here's a good idea of how they look next to each other. So I was really excited to try out this lens, but it's brutally hot out there today, so uh, I didn't stay long. I just sat on the back porch and waited about half an hour or so, and a few birds came to a tree that's 50 feet away from where I was sitting, and uh, made some photos and had to crop them quite a bit and uh, I went ahead and ran the photos through Lightroom and just hit auto and for the most part I liked the adjustments that Lightroom made made a few little tweaks here and there and then I output those photos as TIFFs and ran them through denoise to uh, take care of the high ISO noise a little bit and uh, I'm real pleased with what came out I had to crop them quite a bit uh, there's no getting around it. Shooting songbirds from 50 feet away is going to make for a, a pretty small bird in the frame, so it's going to take a good bit of cropping. But I'm real impressed at how well this worked. Um, my initial impression is that the camera, and I'm using a Z9, uh, it's a lot happier shooting through an f6.3 lens than it is an f8 lens. And so even though the birds were sometimes under a tree canopy, it seemed to find their eye uh, better than uh, the uh, 500 PF with a 1.4 teleconverter. And so it seemed to find eyes a little bit better and to track and stay sticky and kept the uh, focal point on the eyes a little bit better than I remember it doing with the 500 millimeter PF and a teleconverter. So uh, I think that extra two thirds of a stop does help. And uh, while I was sitting there, I noticed a bee at the bird bath uh, pretty close to the minimum focusing distance of the lens and uh, got off a few frames there before he flew away and Again, I had to crop those pretty extensively But these are shots that honestly with the 500 and the 1.4 teleconverter I would not have even attempted and so uh, as you've seen while I've been talking I've shared some uncropped and edited and cropped versions of some photos and like I say this was just done in a hurry uh, I'm not a wildlife photographer. I'm sort of a jack of all trades, and uh, I honestly didn't start doing any wildlife photography until about a year ago. And so this is what I could do in 30 minutes in my backyard. I'm real impressed with this lens. I can't wait to get out and shoot more photos with it. But uh, anyhow, I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.